Hello and welcome, Lisa Howard here. And my video today is about limitations that we place on ourselves as entrepreneurs. So, and I'll frame it with this story that I heard from, um, from, from, from someone online. So, what... I learned was about how okay this might sound crazy but anyway but how an elephant is trained so and I'm gonna tie that into limitations that we place on ourselves so if you've ever been to a circus or a zoo and you see these huge elephants and they have a uh, like maybe a, a chain around, around one ankle and that chain is shackled into shackled to their leg and then it's placed in the ground so they're you know, to, to immobilize them what they can't do a lot of movement but this elephant is is huge and it has the power to take that shackle out the ground and run free if it truly desired to do that. But the reason it does not do that is because as a baby, th this is how elephants are trained. So a, the baby elephant, to train them, you put the chain link around their ankle and you put it into to some cement to keep them there so they truly cannot move from where they are with that chain on their on their ankle so they try and they try and they keep trying and trying to to move and hurting themselves so eventually after so much time has passed and they keep trying to pull and they keep hurting themselves they 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 quit trying and it is at that point, the baby elephant is trained for the rest of their life. They will not, if they feel that against their ankle, they will not try to move because they remember how it felt when they tried to move from that space before. So they, in their mind, as, an, as a big adult elephant, have limitations placed on them and they don't even realize that they don't have to be stuck in that space where they're shackled to because they now have the power because for number one you're not shackled in cement you're sat you're shackled in just regular dirt in the ground so you have the power you're huge you're humongous you have the power to move from that place, but you don't because you know all the other elephants around you that have been trained the same way you've been trained. They're not moving. You remember how it felt when you tried to move and you don't want to feel that again. So for the rest of your life, you're stuck here at this zoo or in this circus because that is what you have been conditioned for. So, as an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur, those of us who want to make it on their own, who don't, have, don't want to have to depend on a job, those of us who feel that way, we are made to feel by other people because we grew up in a condition. When we went to school, the school told us, to do good, make good grades, so you can get a good job. So you're stuck in that mindset and everybody, well, most of the people around you are stuck in that mindset because they weren't told to go to school, do good, so you can create some good jobs for other people. They told you to go to school, do good, go to college so you could get a good job. So if Everybody is going to school to get a good job. 
who are the people that's going to be giving the jobs to us? So that elephant story is pretty much what society has laid on, on us to be. There's nothing wrong with having a job. I have a job. I have a business on the side, but I have a job because the job is what pays me. It was sustains, it sustains the things that I need and I need to do in life, but it's not what, it's not the end all and be all for me. I'm working full time at my job and I'm working part time on my business. And I was, and the plan is to switch that around full time on my business with no job. So, um, and I'm, I'm going to get there in a year. So the purpose of this video is just to inspire those who want to move forward and do something. If you have a job, work your job, don't quit your job but you can work your business part-time and in time, if you continue to push and work, you will be able to do your, your business full-time and not be stifled the way most of the people around you. Cause most people don't want to own a business. Most people want to have a good job and get paid and go home, watch TV, or, or whatever. That's what most people want. And nothing is wrong with that at all. If that's what you want. But if you want more than that. I say don't let. The conditions you were. Put into. The conditions you were born into. Keep you. From following. The desires of your heart. So. That's all I have for today. That's the message. That was laid upon my heart to share with you, my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like the video if it resonated with you. But for the, the most important thing is if this has resonated with you, is for you to get busy doing whatever it is that God has laid upon your heart to do. So see you later. Love you. Subscribe, one of my subscribers at the end of November 2019, if you're watching a video around that time, one subscriber gets um, $100 um, just for being a subscriber and answering some questions. So I'll ask you some questions about the videos that I've done in my little 30 day um, challenge. And one person, if you answer all the questions, and it won't be hard questions, just have to answer what the videos were about or something like that. So one subscriber gets a hundred dollars end of November, probably either right before or after, right after Thanksgiving. So bye for now. And I will see you tomorrow.